<laughs> they're already starting this morning well good morning everybody so we are here again on fells and thaw i know the place that we're fishing looks uh, uh oh that's not good oh no that is good my trolling motor is actually acting right this morning I gotta short my trolling motor i don't know if y'all have seen that on the videos or not but uh it's actually working good this morning yeah all right so back to the introduction we are here i know it looks familiar i mean this is the same place i've been fishing for the last three days pretty sunrise but we got the boys today Jaden and willie they are going to give it their all to try to catch their their goal is to win of course that's your ultimate goal but to catch one fish is important because they get the opportunity to keep angler of the year points or team of the year and that is something very important please don't hit me <laughs> so y'all follow along we're gonna see if they can look up and find a couple of big heads so what's y'all's biggest bass that y'all ever caught Jaden? i know yours is six pound drum what no biggest bass oh three pound small mouth okay. that one on facebook that was your biggest? Um, uh, you was doing so good and now you're hitting dummy. Oh, oh my troll motor. Huh. It's actually running correct and now it's not. Uh, you will have a chance today to, uh, to get bigger than your biggest bass ever. There are some four, five, six pounders that hang around here. So what y'all need to do is try to get as close in them trees as possible. I know right now these lily pads make it a little difficult, but here in a minute we're gonna have a lot of open pads. Just try to get as close to the trees as possible. If you get hung up, we'll go in there and get it. I'm not gonna be mad until you do it like 800 times and then we're gonna have to have to call it. Like I did at Shampanoo Creek with huh? my dad. I did it with my dad. <laughs> well, well, we're you know, that's, that's part of it. We're, we're going to be okay. Just had, I know, especially with you throwing a cranberry, but Willie, it's kind of like, there you go, perfect. If you can. Daddy, hold, I'm hold on, hold on. I see it. Try to try to angle your rod where you get in there close to the trees, Willie. You're not going to get hung. Where Jaden, the closer he gets to the trees, he's going to get hung. you got to travel. Over. You're not getting it off. Just quit. Just hold. monofilm is good for it'll loop up you got to pay attention to this and if you see that you have a loop in your line you got to tell me okay I mean, I don't have a problem coming back and helping you but you got to let me know see how that's all twisted up now well, it's probably gonna do that quite a bit throughout the day didn't tell me oh i did you did after it done happened i didn't know what it was doing like <laughs> i didn't know what was happening back there i didn't look and then i looked back there and then i saw it all right we in good shape everything's fine no harm no foul willie if uh hold on move out of the way james Yeah. Yeah, if he starts catching on this bait, I have another one. All right. Hey. I do not have one. 
I know this is a weird place for a cutaway, but I want to tell you all a little bit about the clip you're about to watch. It is completely raw and uncut and very, very mildly edited, just size and sound more than anything. Um, I left this in for a purpose. And before you become a keyboard warrior and start writing some really bad things in the comments, make sure you come back after the clip so I can kind of clear up the air a little bit. But there is a reason that I left this clip completely raw and uncut. Hope you enjoy it. If you hook him, you got to play him. You're throwing a crankbait. Oh, that was a three pounder. You can't boat flip it. Oh, gosh, Shane, that was a three pounder. That was a good bass. Ah. Oh. Yeah. If you hook them, if you hook them, just don't even reel. Just hook and go, I got it. And then I'll do the rest. Oh, that was a good bass. All right, keep fishing. Uh. Mm. So there it was, a raw and unedited clip and probably my worst moment of 2023. So what you saw is me being very emotional and very animated. And although a lot of people will view it as a negative connotation and say that maybe I was a little bit harsh on my son, the thing is, is I never degraded my son. I never called him a name, never used a derogatory term towards him. The mistake I made was in the heat of the moment, whenever my emotions were at their highest, because I am a competitor, I just, that's the way that I am. I used that moment as a chance to try to coach, and what I should have done was step back, you know, reassess, reevaluate, kind of decompress a little bit, and then coach. Uh, luckily, I was able to do that a few minutes later. That is on a clip that you will not see because I think that some things need to remain between a father and a son. But after this particular instance, I turned the camera off and I talked to Jaden for about five minutes and talked to Willie too, for that matter, about things that they need to adjust to ways they can be better because I want them to be better fishermen and told them that I apologize because I did coach during a heated moment. But I assured both of them I was not angry at them. I did not, you know, disapprove. I was not disappointed in them. I was just disappointed in the situation. It happens. I'm human, and I make mistakes. But luckily, whenever we make mistakes, we get the opportunity to learn from them. As a YouTube creator and an editor, too many times people take liberties in editing these types of clips out to portray themselves in a very positive and perfect light. And I'm not that kind of person. I like being real, I like being genuine. And I think this is an opportunity to show my shortcomings, not only for me to better myself, but for other coaches out there to maybe see what I did wrong. And in the heat of the moment, tried to coach and it come off as being negative. And for you all to realize that that's not the way to do. Kind of one of those do as I say, not as I do moments. But <clears throat> luckily, since Jaden and I had the talk afterwards, we came to terms. I let him know I was not mad at him, was not disappointed in him. But he took everything in stride and really applied himself on this next clip. And I hope that this next clip kind of sums up what I told him in the heat of the moment, that you can't hog a fish on light tackle. You've got to play them out. And, uh, you know, luckily I've got a really good son who listens, I love him to death, and he knows that I love him. And that was just, like I said, one of the heated moments. One of the one of the moments that you as a father and you as a mentor look back on and you go, well, that wasn't great, but I'm glad it happened because we're able to learn from it and move on. So y'all enjoy the rest of this video, enjoy this next clip and see how Jaden adjusts and see what Willie does, because Willie is an awesome, awesome team member. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that right now. Love that kid to death. But um, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of the video, and we'll wrap this up at the end. I 
I saw a fish boil over there, so I just... Touch him. Yes! <laughs> Jaden finally got him a, a good one. Yes! Yes! Oh, you're good. <laughs> yeah, I think we found our area we're going to hang out at for a little while. What do y'all think? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of water in there. A lot of water. They just smash it when they both walk up. All right, boys, step on down, Miss Amy. He's going to get your picture. 24. How many fish? Two fish. All right. Fish weighing in at 1.84 pounds. Total weight, 3.13 pounds. There's a lot of water in there. <laughs> but she told me I was like, Yep. That's your big one. Big is good. 
What's your boat number? Five, and I have one fish. All right. Third place on the junior side, weighing in a total of 3.67 pounds. We've got Kenneth and Taylor. <laughs> the boys got four. <laughs> <laughs> What's Willie smiling about? All right, well, we're gonna cut her off. We'll do a close out here. Look. Step on down. All right, y'all. Y'all saw what happened. Uh, we had five bites today. Caught uh, two of them. Uh, you know, it all comes back to execution, and and we know that. I mean, we make mistakes. We learn from them. Everybody. Here, that's one of yours. Everybody makes mistakes. I broke off a big fish uh, during the state tournament, so. I feel it, but uh, Jaden missed uh, that three pounder and that cost them big bass and first place. But the good thing is, and this is the way that I try to teach everybody, I, I teach the kids, I teach everybody. If you have the bites to win, then you're around the winning fish. And it's better to be there than absolutely struggle all day long and not have the bites. So. We're gonna take this, we're gonna learn from it. We got a pretty big lull until your next tournament in March, but the boys did real good. I know that it's a little disappointing, but they did maintain good points for Angler of the Year. So we got Columbia and Chico coming up and Chico's gonna be a good one. They're gonna make up some points on Chico. I'm gonna make sure of it. So, anything y'all wanna say? Like always, keep chunking. I guess that's it. We'll see y'all. Make sure to subscribe.